What's up everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. Today I'm talking about 2020's Palm Springs from director Max Barbaco. I think I said that right? And uh, on Sundays here I said I was going to start doing some Colin Farrell rewatches but in honor of that last episode 4 of The Penguin which if you haven't watched that breakdown on the channel currently go check that out. If not for me for Kristen Milioti, and I, that is why I watched this movie. I needed some more Sophia Falcone, some more Kristen Milioti acting in my life. I grew up on How I Met Your Mother, and if you guys don't know, a little bit of spoilers for that show, she is mother, right? Like in the How I Met Your Mother, he's she's the wife, the mother of the kids that he meets, um, and the whole thing climaxes with meeting her, and she's phenomenal in that, and she's phenomenal in The Penguin, but she's also phenomenal in this. She plays Sarah, the bride's uh, sister in this, and Andy Samberg plays Niles, which is hilarious. J.K. Simmons is in here as Roy. So funny. So funny. It's a pretty small cast, but they're all at like a, a wedding, Palm Springs vacation, out in like the desert somewhere at like some resort, and they get stuck in a time loop. And so he's reliving every day. So it's like one of those weird, trippy time travel movies where um, instead of like time, traveling back to the past or the future, they're stuck in a time loop where the same day keeps repeating over and over and over again. Kind of like maybe a, a Groundhog's Day, I believe that happens in that movie. Although I haven't seen that movie, comment below if you think I should. And if you have any other movie recommendations for me, leave those down below. Especially if there are any uh, time travel ones like this. But this movie was great. Kristen Milioti and Andy Samberg's uh, bouncing off of each other comedically was great. But the writing in this movie and, and the director, Max, he really knew how to capture the, the beautiful shots of like the time travel and, and how a day would end when they die or go to sleep and then they'd wake up the next day and it would be all all over again and they'd start with the eye real close to them waking up and then all of a sudden they're off to the same adventure or a different one you know like I really enjoyed that I enjoyed how they tied in JK Simmons into all this and the ending was great and I really like this director even though I haven't seen a whole lot of his stuff but he's coming out with a new movie called Brothers with Josh Brolin and Peter Dinklage playing brothers and that looks quite hilarious and I can't wait to see that that comes out soon I believe on Prime uh, but either way Palm Springs 2020, I gave a pretty good score. I gave it three and a half out of five stars, about a seven out of 10. And you know, it, it's a good movie. It was a solid watch. And if you're like me and you've been loving the Penguin and you love Kristen Milioti's performance, it was perfect for that sense where I was like, I need some more Kristen Milioti in my life. And I watched this on Sunday and I was like, perfect. I watched it right before the Penguin. And then it was that episode of the Penguin where she was... Kristen Milioti, Sophia Falcone, and it was a whole, her whole flashback. Phenomenal episode, it really was. So if you haven't gone and seen The Penguin, go check it out for yourself. Or if you just want to skip watching it and just watch my breakdowns and my recaps of it, go ahead and do that. Either way, comment below your favorite Kristen Milioti movies or try and travel movies or any movies in general. I need some good movie recommendations down in the comment section below. Drop those down there for me. If you'd like to see my letterbox reviews or my other social medias, link for those down in the description below. And if you've made it this far in the video, the best way to support the channel is liking this video, subscribing if you're new, and hitting that bell so you don't miss future videos. My name is Big Cam. Thank you guys so much for coming on by, and I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Peace.